Well, hello friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Sunday, 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 Sunday. Um, January 21st of 2023. It is the first day of Aquarius season and we are still in winter time. <laughs> so happy Aquarius season and happy birthday to any Aquariuses who are celebrating their birthday today or yeah, all of you cuspers. So yeah. Late Capricorn, early Aquarius. <laughs> so, yeah. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So, if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, source, all that is, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you've decided to watch it then there is a message here for you so use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you all right let's get into our affirmation for today so i just got done recording the weekly review and it is a good one i love it so yeah it's so nice to I say this every time <laughs> but it's, it's so nice to see how the energies come together and last week well the week three review was week three had some really good affirmations come through and uh, it's um yeah it's so it's interesting to see the way that they all come out and how the story unfolds of the affirmations. So, yeah, if you are interested, make sure to check that out. Also today, I it is Sunday, I will be posting the fire signs. So yesterday I posted the air signs. And yeah, I totally love doing the Zodiac videos because they're just something new and different and the messages that come through are, gosh, it's they're they're just amazing. So yeah, I love it. It's a new way to tune into the energies, and it's been really cool. So we have an affirmation today from our secondary chakra Yang energy, which is our uh, masculine energy number eighty six. I make friends with my inner warrior. I make friends with my inner warrior. Yeah, that part. Let's do those things. Make friends with our inner warrior. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we all have that part within ourselves. Oh my gosh, look, opened right to. <laughs> Yesterday I did that same thing where I opened right to the page. Like, I love it. Jeez. So, um, and I just saw 333 on the. <laughs> on the count here but um yes so we all have an inner warrior that we should be making friends with at you know some point in our life because every single part of us is an important part of us and it is important I feel for us to accept all of us in order for us to like if we want other people to accept all of us then we also have to accept all of us as we are as well so whatever that means or however that applies to you it's all about us being um yeah making friends with that part of us so let's read the meaning i make friends with my inner warrior meaning yes there is a warlike aspect within you your inner warrior he may be many things, violent, brutal, but also protective, assertive, steadfast, strong, and power conscious, orderly and disciplined, strict and ascent, uh, wait, ascetic, gosh, vital and healthy, sporty and tough, chivalrous and fiery, which of his qualities manifests itself in your best interests and those of everyone involved depends on you. 
if you immediately become afraid of his characteristics and declare them to be superficial and bad, your spiritual path and therefore also your happiness will wind up at a dead end. Instead, find out the ways in which his abilities can be meaningfully applied and use them. Study the tasks of warriors in the cultures of native people, the Japanese samurai, and the medieval knights. Learn to live your warrior power in a constructive, conscious way. It is always within you. And as long as you do, wait, and as long as you do not look at it and learn to deal with it, it will tend to express itself in a more destructive, disharmonious way and get mixed up in situations at the wrong time. Healing Stone, Opal, Fragrance Essence, Cypress, the Bach Flower, is water violet so ah yes i love this i love this so much every single one of us i love how it says a warlike aspect there is a warlike aspect in all of us absolutely like we all know and sometimes people allow that part of themselves to manifest in a like they said disharmonious way and that is something that we are seeing right now in the world in both Ukraine and um like Gaza or whatever yeah and both of those places that is a I'm feeling it is a manifestation of having a warlike aspect that is not addressed properly so it ends up blowing up <laughs> and looking like you know, what is going on right now. But when we are in a uh, state of acceptance of that aspect of ourselves, then we don't try to hide that aspect of, us, of ourselves and we are consciously aware and acknowledge that part of ourselves, then we can choose how to show that part. We can sh choose how that part of us manifests itself through us so I feel that this is just a message for us to be mindful of the inner warrior within all of us and know that that aspect of ourselves is not a bad aspect it's really all about your perception of that part so you know it's all about acceptance <laughs> like loving acceptance and not trying to make anything more or less than what it already is but finding a beautiful and harmonious way to display that part of ourselves ah <sighs> so wow that is our affirmation for this beautiful sunday I hope you all found something that you resonate with and if you did then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. So thank you all so very much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.